Hi, I'm Jim, the world famous international food critic. My food reviews have become so popular, I'm getting letters in the mail. Mothers are telling me that they're naming their children after some of the food I review. And I cannot express to you how flattering and exciting that is. I got a, just the other day, I got a letter, I got a picture in the mail. This lady was sending me a picture of her giving birth to her child, which she has named Beef Bouljanaise, after the review I gave of Beef Bouljanaise. And I just want to say, Mary Smith of Franklin, Illinois, thank you. That really made my day to hear that. To you, little Beef Bouljanaise Smith, God bless you. Today I want to talk about the meal I just had. I'm at a place called Kalani. It's a little out of the way place in the Pune district of Hawaii. Maybe you've heard of it. Probably haven't. And it's no big deal if you haven't. I'm sure you have places that you like to eat every day or sometimes, once in a while. Whatever. You got your own places. I got mine. My job is to share with you what I find in my travels where I eat what I like to do. And that's what I'm doing tonight. I ate at Kalani. I have the menu right here. I'll tell you what I enjoyed. It was a good dinner. I just want to, I want to start off by saying that it was so good. I was so convinced that Nakindra had cooked it. That's how good it was. Nakindra is an amazing cook. I was so surprised when I discovered, no, she didn't have anything to do with it. She didn't even work this afternoon. She worked this morning. Wow, blew my mind to realize. I, I don't, I'm not even going to say who, because whatever. I mean, Nick, if, when it's Nikendra, I like to just really let her know I appreciate her food. Yeah, I really thought she cooked this meal. Anyway, we had something called Japanese curry. It was good. I, I don't know exactly what about it is specifically Japanese per, per se, some kind of Japanese spice. There are carrots in it. Japanese people eat carrots maybe? I don't know. I wonder, wonder about that sometimes when people say a, a, a dish is from a certain region or a certain country. What, if, what about it is specific to that? I have a feeling they just, this is just something they got from their dead grandmother's old Betty Crocker cookbook in the Japanese chapter. It's fine. It was good. I mean, it was, it was okay. I had some rice with it. Was it mind-blowingly fantastic? No, it wasn't. Was it good? It was good. Was it edible? I ate it, so yeah, it was edible. Wasn't really the highlight of the meal. The chicken katsu. That's what we had next. That was the next thing that I pointed to and said, yeah, give me some of that. That was good. That's what made it, that's what makes this a four star meal. Not five stars. If Kendra had cooked it, I would give it five stars. She didn't cook it though. I don't, I don't know who cooked it. I don't really, I don't follow these things. Some people just get all excited. Oh, so and so cooked the meal. To me, it's like, oh, just, just put some food on my plate, okay? I'll tell you if I like it. Doesn't matter who cooked it. I don't care. Then, we had ginger taro katsu croquettes. I didn't have any. I didn't really see the point. I already had chicken. I had, I had chicken. I had curry. I had rice. I didn't really see the point in overloading my plate. I like to eat just enough so I'm not hungry anymore. I don't always have to eat everything that's served. Some people are like that. You'll see them. They'll drive you crazy. They'll be like, oh, more, 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 more. Fill my plate. Fill up my plate. Then they go to the salad bar and they put even more on there. Why? Just eat the stuff that looks good. Don't try to eat everything. Try to eat everything. There's going to be something you don't like. You're going to be disappointed. Your review is going to go down. I don't do that. I, I eat what looks good to me. Then I stop. I say, don't put anything else on my plate. No, I don't want any of that croquet stuff. Keep it off my plate. If you put that on my plate, I will stab you in the eye with a fork or a pen, whatever's handy. But whatever. And then we had Limo Ogo Ali Mushroom Gobo Salad. I ate a few bites of it. It was good. I didn't eat all of it. 
you know, the food that we don't eat, we swap, put it in a bucket, it goes to a local pig farmer, so I never feel bad not eating everything, because I think, well, you know, there's some hungry pigs out there. They deserve to eat good food, too. And I think they were well fed tonight. And on top of this, we had ponzu sauce, or we had miso sauce. I got the ponzu. I'm really sick of miso around here. They, 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 they overdo miso. I'm tired of miso. Just cut miso out of the, the diet here, okay? Come on, people. Enough of the miso. They serve it for breakfast. Miso, miso soup for breakfast, for crying out loud. Breakfast around here, I don't even, it's not worth reviewing. It's not worth eating. Today, what we have? Seven grain cereal and rice. Those were the offerings. Come on, people. Snap, step it up. Step it up at breakfast. You have talented people wanting to cook, willing to cook. Give them what they need to cook. Let them show their talent. Let them show off a little bit. Don't just say, hey, go boil some eggs for us. You know, boiled eggs. Ugh, enough of it. Enough. You have eggs. Do something with it. Let your chefs, <coughs> let your chefs shine. You know what I had for breakfast? I had. Thank God for this. Can you get a close up? Post great grains. This was a good breakfast. What they served, I didn't even want to touch it. Post great grains. That's a good breakfast. And unfortunately, it's come to that. Unfortunately, you know you're not going to eat eggs. They tell you they're going to cook eggs every, they're going to scramble eggs on Tuesday, they're going to scramble eggs on Saturday, but they lie. They don't do it. They boil the eggs. If they do that tomorrow, tomorrow Saturday, I'm probably just going to freak out. I'm probably going to take those eggs and I'm going to throw them at the people who make the decisions around here because I'm tired of it. And yeah. We had tiramisu for dessert tonight. Excellent. Tiramisu, if you don't know this, is a French word. It's, it's French for multi-layered cake. Tira means multi. Misu means layered cake. So we had multi-layered cake from France tonight. It was wonderful. I had two pieces. I thought about getting three, but then I thought, I think two is enough. So like I was saying, I, I just want to eat enough so I'm not not hungry anymore. I don't need to stuff myself. And that is what we had for dinner tonight. Thank you for watching. I'm Jim Larson. Stay well, eat well, be well, be happy. Food is tied to emotion. Eat food that makes you happy. If they're not serving food that makes you happy, go to the store, get some post multigrain. I got the raisins, dates, and pecans. Get a close up that way, yeah. All right, that's that. September 1st, 2017. Bye.